Hello everyone, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. As you wish. Let's go talk with, um... Well, he was up here. I'm not sure if he's gonna be up here anymore. No, he is. Okay, cool. Edder. The smell of pipe smoke, had once earthy and sweet, winds its way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin, where you find a broad man with straw-colored hair leaning, leaning against a mossy rock wall, his pipe held to his lips with one meaty hand. He looks you directly in the eye, but the look is not aggressive. He regards you with a peculiar smirk. Seventeen and a half. Well, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you oughta. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Off frowns. Is that what you people do for fun around here? Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22. 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. I like this guy. What makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman? We're really gonna ask that after we sat, like, under her corpse for a couple minutes? Come on, character. He looks at you a moment, his brow arched, his smirk broadens. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack, I took you for a radrick at first. Huh. Hmm. I've been out of sorts lately. Of course, we all got our bad days when we stand perfectly still and stare at corpses for a while without blinking. <laughs> Hey, you know, that's what I do on my bad days. I just go try to find a corpse and stare at it for a while. Well, do you know what a watcher is? Let's not use that word around here. There'd be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, Animancers, Watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here. Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. Hmm. None taken. Good. They don't mean it personal when they hang folks here. I have to remind myself. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. Jeez. The war? Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Fellow decides he's the living incarnation of Yelthos. Overthrows... Red Saras? Red, Red Saras? I need a way for someone to, to pronounce that word out loud. Uh, marches on Deerwood, so we gave him a deer wooden hello. Huh. <laughs> What's a deer wooden hello? We blew him up. <laughs> he smiles at this, but it is the smile of one recounting a joke for effect rather than enjoyment. Uh, let's see what he has to say about Aethos. God of rebirth and redemption. Formerly, anyhow. Maybe they call him something different where you're from. Why was your headman hanged? Got involved. Radrick sent men down here the other day. Said they had it on good authority someone in town was working with Kolsk. Kolsk? Uh, plotting Radrick's overthrow. Said if he didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang every last one of us. No one was coming forward, so Swithin, that's my headsman, he steps up and says it's him. They took him at his word. He sighs and shakes his head, his eyes fixed on the tree. Bound to happen sooner or later. If not for plotting against Radric, then for protecting me. What does the town have against Pick you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there? That was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly... 
Aethys isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. Hmm. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Aloth glances at you and lowers his voice. You can see why I was eager to leave. Who's Kolsk? Someone who got tired of all the hangings. He's on the run now. Probably will be till they catch him. If you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? He gives half a smile. Drinking, mostly. Point of fact, I'm on my way out. Just haven't figured where I'm going yet. Not a whole lot of places out there that don't think Wadewin's legacy started with Wadewin. I mean, I'm looking for a group of friends. I said so in the second episode, right? I, yeah, I did. Where are you headed? Some place called Kaidenua. There's an old watcher there who might be able to help me. I remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that? There'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But, truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. Huh. You're saying I'm a stranger? Is it the fire on the head? I get that a lot. That's a fine reason if I ever heard one. Alright then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. Long as you're not the one picking the sights. He tilts his head forward and gives you a pointed look. Let's get going. Yeah! This hmm. guy seems really cool. And he also has a war bow. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'll take care of it. The Watcher unravels the vital essence of his or her enemies, gaining endurance in the process. Whoa. Well? That's kind of cool. Well, let's first go down here. But yeah, this... I like this guy. I like both of them. So far, these NPCs are really good. Um, huh? you... Alright, then. <laughs> As you wish. Hmm... Hope you're not expecting much. There we go. We can also change formations down here. We can do a custom one. Um... But this works for now, I suppose. Hey, traveler. Which nods you in, in greeting, cradling his injured arm. You've returned. Find anything? Oh, uh, not yet. So long as it's done before Radric sends someone down here, we'll never get to the remains after that. <laughs> Might not get anywhere, for that matter. Uh, let me actually look at the inventory for... Hey. Ed here. Oops. Wrong button. Okay, so you have a saber. 14 to 21 slashing. And a medium shield. Let's see. Okay, so I like that when you hover over this weapon, it's going to give you the damage that the character you currently have selected would have because of their stats. Let's test that out. 12 to 18. Yeah, 12 to 17. Okay. 
So let's see, 13 to 19, the saber is going to be better piercing, but this spear is accurate, which gives you more accuracy. Damage is... it's very similar. Hatchet has the bonus crit. Wait, Battle Axe has the bonus crit. Crit damage, plus 0.5 to crit damage multiplier. That's if we crit. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of like being accurate. And that's Crush. The Rapier is accurate 1, which gives you 5 accuracy, but the Spear gets also 5. Okay. And the Rapier is 9 to 14 Pierce. I like that we have a lot of damage here, so let's uh, let's give you a Piercing Weapon. Let's give you a Crushing Weapon out of the stash. Your Hunting Bow is going to be... Lower than the War Bow. I guess that makes sense. Whoa, crossbow, 21 to 31 piercing. What's the speed, though? Slow. Hmm. Still that damage, though. We could start a fight with the crossbow, and since it's a slow attack... We'll try it out. Since it's slow, like, we just get one shot off, switch to weapon set one, and then send him into melee. I think that could work. So what are these compared? Oh, it's the same thing, just it looks different. Looks cooler. <laughs> and that's good enough for me. Kind of want to see the spear, though, too. I just like that it has another property, whereas the saber doesn't. I like the piercing or the accuracy. Okay. Uh, armor. Saints War Armor. Pierce Proofed Second Chance. Pierce Proof. Plus three damage reduction against piercing. Grant Second Chance. What is... Second Chance? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay. Of course. Hey. All right then. Um, how do we switch weapon sets? I guess we can just do that. Hey. Aha! A Will O' the Wisp. <laughs> okay, huh? so we want to. Francis! That didn't work. How may I help? Oops. What is it? Mm. Hi. So we have minimum use of these spells. Hmm. Let's wait on that. What? Curse your eyes! Why are you moving? Curses! These ones are in for a what? What the heck happened to these two? Confused? How may I help? Hopping. Oh my gosh! That's not good. What's happening here? I? Um, I don't see the engage lines, so we may be okay to run. Oh. When a party member is reached to zero endurance, nope, uh, they are knocked out. This means they are out of the fight, but as long as your side is victorious, they will regenerate their endurance when combat ends. Even though endurance regenerates after combat, health does not. Keep an eye on the bar of the left of the character portrait to prevent them from being maimed or killed. What is it? That really sucks. Oh my god, they confused him again? These guys have 56 damage reduction? Oh no, defense. Now let me rise for that one. Leave it to me. 
Ouch. All right then. That confusion. Ow. Hey. All right then. This parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it faded. In this time of hardship, it must have just as much faith. Okay, maybe we will do a yes. um. Let's see. Maybe a single Indeed. file. All right then. Adra, and some copper. Except. Confusion. There we go. This may this should be a little easier. Hey. Leave it to me. You miss. <laughs> That's okay. Knockdown. Attack. So much for you. Okay. Hey, of course. This parchment is relatively intact, but the ink upon it is faded. Okay. Visitors to the ritual floor. Rectrix Abrica says. Redemption for even those forgot and struck the largest bell first, rather than second. The rest forgot and struck the largest bell first, rather than second largest? Okay, this is going to be part of a puzzle, I'm guessing. Camping supplies, I will take. Hey. We'll switch that, and let's try... There we go. Never mind, I'll keep All right, then. Now. Of course. Hey. Yeah, there it is. Hmm, okay. So, as long as your character, huh, hold on, so his porch, our friend's porch is changing when it's in the yellow. Like, he's being targeted. But what's odd is that he's not being targeted when he's in the red. Is what it looks like. Huh. Knock him down. Kick him. These ones are in for a whopping! Jeez! Well... Right. Guess I could've hit that one. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Hey. Of course. Okay. You're not getting. Never mind. Went too far. Knock down the big one. You engage him. Through me. Pile on him. Well, man, you 
took some damage, dude. Oh, we also leveled up. Okay. Hmm. Let's increase survival. Swift strikes, turning wheel. Passive. Burn damage per wound. Huh. Move speed. Powerful attack that knocks the target back a significant distance if the attack is successful. Target bumps others out of the way and bounces off hard surfaces like walls before ending up prone. Requires two wounds, though. So foe targets 7 meters pushed. Prone for 11 seconds. Uses your primary attack. And then swift strikes. Which I think is pretty good, too. Hmm. Let's try Swift Strikes. Okay. Hey, lay in low. Okay, some monsters of dead fire. Um. Here, I'll just scroll through this in case you wish to uh, pause and read it. The Barbed Ravager. Wilding Serpent. Leviathan. Hope of Ear. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Scroll of Jolting Touch requires two lore. Well, sounds like something you'd want. Again, if you wish to read, feel free to pause. Oops. All right, then. Hmm. Yeah! All right, so do we know anything about them? No damage reduction on him, that's good. Alright, so you're going to knock him down. You're going to engage against him. Let's do swift strikes. Ooh. I didn't want to move him because he would have got a free attack. Hey, of course. Hello. A fine sword. Properties fine. Plus four accuracy and damage. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. We're going to definitely want that. For you. Forget the spear. Oops. Um, we're going to put the saber back in here. We're going to put the rapier back in there. We'll keep the mace out. We'll keep the bow out just in case. I should probably be drinking that. Quick item. Quick item. Yes. Aha. Hey. Okay. Hey. Of course. To his grace, I write to implore. The rest of this letter is crossed out in several places and then abandoned altogether. Take that money. These prayer scrolls are coated in a thick layer of grime and dust. Two mechanics. What which is it? I don't think any of us have. One mechanics plus two lockpicks or two mechanics. Yes. I see. Well. well Do I not have any lock I thought I picked up lockpicks. Are they in our stash? I think they're in our stash. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yes. Great! A crossbow. Well, here, how about... Darn it. How about you put that in your second weapon set? What's your damage with it? 20 to 29. Eh, still, you can get a free shot off. Why not? Yours is 10 to 15, crushing, slashing, whichever is best with the scepter. That's pretty cool. And it's also fast. We'll keep that. And we probably can't equip a shield because of the Grim Roar, I'm guessing? Alright, so let's, As uh, wish. end this one here. Ooh. We'll have to re go through this, I guess. Now, normally, I'd probably be reading most of this, but for those of you who don't care about this, these things, um, that'd be very boring. In fact, just doing this, just so people can read it, it's probably pretty boring for people who don't care. But we gotta meet each other halfway, you know? Can I? Okay, I can't click hey, on that side. But, uh, yeah, so I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.